Good morning, or good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Um, welcome to our Sacred Heart Virtual Catholic Vacation Bible School. And this year, uh, we're going to be learning about saints. Now, the great thing about saints is that they are superheroes, and they actually exist. Uh, of course, I know you all like uh, comic book movies, uh, Avengers, Spider-Man, and I'm sure you have lots of other wonderful favorite movies. Maybe Elsa is one of your favorite heroines, uh, heroic figures. Um, but the heroes you're going to learn about today, these are real human beings who lived in, uh, in different places and different times, and we call them saints. Um, they were filled with God's grace. They are heroic. And we are very, very excited uh, to be able to learn something about them. So um, today, our first saint is going to be St. Juan Diego. And I'm going to read his story. He is the humble and faithful saint. St. Juan Diego, a humble and faithful saint. And here is his story. The opposite of light is dark. The opposite of poor is rich. The opposite of proud is humble. A proud person is someone who thinks he is very important. Juan Diego, the very first Mexican saint, he was not a proud person. On the contrary, he was a very humble person. And when the Blessed Virgin Mary, that is the mother of Jesus, the mother of God, appeared to him, he told to her, he told her, quote, I am a nobody, a small rope, a tiny ladder, the tail end, a leaf, unquote. We should all try to be as humble as St. Juan Diego. Here is the true story of Juan Diego's faith and courage to do the will of God through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Juan Diego loved Jesus very much. Every morning, when most people would still be asleep, he would leave his house and walk more than 10 miles just to hear about him. Juan Diego, he did not have a car to drive, no bicycle to pedal, no rollerblades, uh, no skateboard, nor did he have an animal to ride. He didn't even have a pair of shoes to wear. Juan didn't want to be late for church. He left early each morning and made the long journey on his bare feet to walk to Mass. Then, as soon as Mass was over, he would walk all the way back home to spend hours working on his simple farm. The Blessed Mother watched over Juan Diego in the same way she watches over all of us today. Because of Juan's faithfulness to Mary's son, Jesus, Mary, the mother of Jesus, chose Juan to be her special messenger. I don't know, did you know that the name Juan is actually the name John in English? That's how they say in Spanish, Juan. So when you think of Juan Diego, another name for him is John. One chilly morning, Juan was on his way to church when he stopped to listen to a flock of birds singing a sweet song. The melody came from the east on a hill close by. Immediately, the singing stopped and he heard a tender voice cry out, Juanito! Juan Dieguito. He climbed the hill, and there, out of nowhere, Mary appeared, glistening like the sun. She was dressed in a pale red dress with a blue veil edged in golden stars. Mary gave Juan an important message to take to the Bishop of Mexico. She told Juan to tell the bishop to build a church on the exact spot where she stood. Let me show you a picture of the uh, image that Juan Diego saw. You can see Juan there uh, kneeling down. And then you can see this garment of, of St. Mary, the mother of Jesus, as she appeared to him that day. So Juan rushed to the bishop of Mexico to tell him about Mary and her urgent request. Now the bishop did not believe him Take a look at this image here. Can you see uh, the facial uh, figure and, and of the, the bishop? Very, uh, he has a uh, downcast look. You can tell that he does not believe what Juan 
has told him. Perhaps he wondered why Mary would appear to a poor farmer instead of someone who was more educated and influential. The bishop told Juan to go back and get proof that he had seen Mary. The bishop wanted a heavenly sign that the woman was really the Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus. Upon meeting Mary again, St. Juan told Mary of the bishop's disbelief. Then Mary performed an awesome miracle. It was the middle of winter, a time when flowers did not grow. Mary told Juan to climb to the top of a hill where he would find roses blooming. Juan gathered the roses and carried them down the hill in his tilma. A tilma is a coat without sleeves. Take a look at this image here. You can see Our Lady peering to Juan and Juan gathering up the flowers into his tilma, into his cloak. She took the roses from Juan and then placed them back in his tilma to give to the bishop. When Juan arrived at the bishop's palace, the roses tumbled out of his tilma and landed on the ground at the bishop's feet. But that's not all. On the inside of Juan's tilma was a very beautiful picture of Mary. Take a look at this image here. This is what uh, the bishop saw. The image of Mary imprinted on Juan's tilma. This is what uh, uh, we call the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And this tilma still exists uh, in Mexico. In fact, if you were to go and see it in Mexico, uh, one of the great miracles of the tilma is that long ago, it should have disintegrated uh, as the fabric was not made of something that lasts a very long time, certainly not 500 years, but instead the image is still there, and it is an image of what Juan Diego saw when he looked upon the eyes of Holy Mary, the mother of Jesus. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Ducidu, Et spes nostra salvi, a te clamamus, exules filii eve, a te suspiramus, gementes et lentes, in ac lacrimarum vale. Ea ego advocata nostra, ilos tuos, Misericordes oculos ad nos converte. Et Iesu, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, o story. The bishop was stunned and dropped to his knees in prayer as he saw the image and the roses. Now he knew Juan was telling the truth. The bishop built the church that Mary desired and placed Juan's tilma inside for everyone to see. We must always remember all things are possible with God. My friends, Mary She's known as the gate of heaven. Juan Diego's tilma became the gate of heaven for millions of people in Mexico who had never heard of the one true God. Juan spent the rest of his life sharing his faith with the Mexican people. He told them about Jesus and Mary and how they could live happily for eternity for heaven, in heaven. This miracle happened hundreds of years ago. If you visit Mexico City today, as I told you, you can see Juan's tilma in the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe. The word Guadalupe means to crush the serpent. This means that Holy Mary will help stomp out evil 
and bring goodness to people everywhere. Now, here's the good news. You can bring goodness to people as well. You can share the story of Juan Diego with a friend and, or someone else who doesn't know about how our Blessed Mother appeared to Juan Diego 500 years ago. Tell them about Mary's gift, the miraculous tilma, the beautiful flowers that did not grow in winter and yet miraculously were a part of the tilma. Tell them about the great story of how Mary appeared to Juan as Our Lady of Guadalupe. If you do this, you are sharing your faith, and you will make Jesus and Mary smile very much.